Hey, Scott Sager here, RTC TV4. Today we're at the uh, Argus Summerfest, and I will tell you what, it's a beautiful day for it, but you just can't enjoy what I'm enjoying through television because the smells coming from the barbecue pit over here are phenomenal. I'm with a couple of guys here with Outlaw Smokers. Let's talk to them. What's your name, sir? Eric Murley. Eric, and you? Uh, Dave Koch. Dave Koch. Okay, these guys are out here cooking their hearts out today, quite frankly, and uh, I've salivated multiple times as I've walked past them. I thought it was time to talk to them. So we've got some cookers here. These cookers are actually locally made, and you guys are telling me the story, and we're going to do a follow-up later on this, but uh, talk to us a little bit about who's putting these out and uh, just a little bit of the story about how they came to be. Yeah, Jay Craig over at uh, Craig Welding at Mentone, Indiana, he puts these things together for us. He does a phenomenal job. A lot of research went into it. Um, a lot of studying and J. Know. Craig studying, folks. That's a new right. breaking news yeah. story. No, just kidding, Jay. He, he hired that yeah, out. Okay, he hired that out. <laughs> so he did his research based on what was existing out there, right? Correct. He took and a look and said, we can do it better. Right. Some testing. A lot yeah. of testing. Yeah. Some testing, this and that on the airflow, going through, understanding the firebox, going through with the exhaust. I mean, it's all, it's actually pretty technical. Absolutely. More, more than, I mean, I've learned a lot and still <laughs> learning. But uh, it's very interesting, and yeah, he's put out a nice quality cooker here. I mean, competition, competition yeah. style. They are just beautiful, and they are competition style. I mean, this is granted. I would like to have one in my backyard, but uh, I, get you one. yeah, I bet you could. I'll I bet you, you could. There is a backyard model. Okay, we got a backyard model. Now we'll talk. But uh, these things are on wheels, as you've seen. They customize them however you need them. Yep. This is uh, you're saying Jay's put out about or Craig Welding, however that works. About five of these so far, five or six. Probably five to six uh, from I would say Virginia. We got Florida. Oh, Ohio, Cincinnati, something like that. So, so YouTube, one world of YouTube. Is yeah, kinda, that's all it takes, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. YouTube, all, Facebook's YouTube all you Facebook need to market. All they, yep. All they've marketed, so. Well, he's off and running, guys, and uh, some great stuff here. You guys are going to be here all day. This isn't something you just throw in the microwave for 10 minutes. This is all day barbecue right here. So, what do we got on the cooker? We got some ribs. What else? Yeah, we got uh, three racks of ribs in here. Couple pork tenderloins for the cooks to eat as a snack. Yeah, so, we gotta, gotta do that. Gotta, gotta eat. Yeah, you gotta yeah, make sure gotta the, eat. You gotta oh, make sure it's working. The oh. airflow is properly going through. Get belly ache. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, we put those on uh, 45 minutes ago. They're starting to get color, so yeah. we'll let them go for a while. And so, is your secret the uh, dry rub? Is that the big secret for the uh, competition? Not a lot of secrets in competition, yeah. actually. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of an experiment. See what works. See what doesn't. And, yeah. It's an art form. Everybody's got their own yeah, profile and their own flavor. And right. Well, a lot of fun, guys. Enjoy yourselves today. Again, the weather's uh, working with us here, so mm -hmm. nice breeze blowing through. Not too hot today, so you guys have some fun. Appreciate you being with us here on RTC4, okay? Yep. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Scott Sager again. We've got another uh, griller here. This uh, is kind of a custom job by Jay Craig and, and Craig Welding. So uh, let's talk to the owner here. What's your name? Aaron Zolman. Aaron. Now, uh, this is the big green here, the right? big green, yeah. I'm a, I'm a Valley Viking, so I enjoy the green color and wanted to throw a little jazz to that with the, the old Z-top theme that we have for our farm. So, yeah. I like it. It's a lot of fun. Now, have you been into uh, competition cooking for a while? I have not. So this is, um, competition's new to me. I enjoy cooking on the weekends. I call myself a weekend warrior. You know, everybody loves to get out and cook and have fun. And this type of smoker has been my lifelong dream. Yeah. So I've worked with Craig Welding and we, we did some designs and worked through the design changes on what we wanted to make. And he custom built this for me. So it, it turned out fantastic and I couldn't be more than happy with that. So. Well, it seems like uh, it's a side project over there for Jay and for uh, Craig Welding, but what a fun side project to uh, have, absolutely. right? I think he definitely has fun with that. Yeah, <laughs> we got to fire it up and test it, you yeah. know? We got to make sure that it's working. So, uh, yeah. well, let's get a look inside here and uh, sure. see what you got cooking. There we go. So right now we got uh, three... Now, I just have to stop you real quick. That's like a fridge door opening here it's for your cooker. heavy, too, if you can tell how heavy. Amazing. It's got two inches of insulation built all the way around the smoker. Wow. Um, we got removable racks. You'll see I got some probes in there so I can kind of control my temperature a little bit. Absolutely. Um, but I got three racks of ribs on there right now for uh, tonight's competition. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. Now, we talk about airflow. So, um, you know, the whole thing's about getting the smoke flavor infused into that meat. Yep. What type of uh, wood chips are you using? Is there a standard for 
competition? Has everybody got their own recipe for that? So, so everybody kind of uh, has their own recipe. They tend to, uh, you know, there's a lot of woods out there that, you know, from cherry to apple, hickory, oak, um, pecan. Um, and we play around with them, you okay. know. So I, I've got three types of woods with me today. Great. Predominantly, I, I like cherry. Yeah. It's my okay. my favorite. Um, everybody kind of has their little preference, I think. But they and all offer a distinct flavor, yeah, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yep. It's almost like wines, where you can blend three different wine types together to come up with yeah. a, a finished product. So. so. Well, very neat. Uh, I got some samples for you guys too to try out. So uh, this face has never turned down. Yeah, a sample absolutely. Ever. I just want to make sure you know I got some samples. <laughs> we we went ahead and threw some wings on ahead of time, so we got some lunch snacks for everybody. And uh, absolutely, so. excellent. Well, we're having fun here today. I want to encourage everybody if uh, you didn't make it up this year, make sure you get out to the Argus Summer Festival. Barbecues, booths, lots of fun here all day long. We're happy to be up here with RTC TV for you.